Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Living Shadow Tarot. How bees ya? This is going to be a reading for Gemini Lilith. Now, um, this is if you have a Gemini Lilith placement. If you do not know your Lilith placement, you can check the link in the description below. And um, go down there and click on the link for astro charts. You can use on any um, like Cafe Astrology, any of the, any um, site that will really tell you your birth chart. But you want to find out what your Lilith placement is um, so that you can discover a little bit more about yourself here. Because this is not just your sun sign. Do not just take it as just being your sun sign. Just gonna put that out there now before we get started. Okay. And just to let you all know. <laughs> oh. Ten of Wands and Four of Cups. Okay. Um, and just to let you all know. I forgot what I was gonna say. So, there you go. <laughs> Live! <laughs> um, we got Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and Ten of Wands so far for the reading. If you all don't know me yet, because a lot of people do come to watch these, they're different, or um, not my regular viewers. Um, this is your id. Your Lilith is your id. It's what you desire most. It's your primal part of your brain. So, um, this is an important uh, placement to know, and this is an important placement to figure out. So, um, if you, I've done a few of these different ones, so if you please go back and check and look at your Lilith placement ones from the past and see how they may resonate. Their, um, these are all timeless readings. These are just helping people to discover more about their shadow side. Yes. Okay, so. Gemini Lilith. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands. Ooh. Something is driving you nuts. I'm getting that you just feel unappreciated feel really deeply unappreciated no matter what it is you try and do you just I don't know, it's like you feel unappreciated and you feel like no one sees the work you put in but it makes you kind of angry it's like you're hurt and angry at the same time yeah with seven of cups and reverse in the chariot no one's maybe seen the things that you've given up, or no one may see the sacrifices that you make to do something, or you feel like no one has seen the sacrifices that you've made um, to do whatever it is you had to do, or to get wherever it is you were trying to go. People just see you in like a certain light, and then they don't see anything else besides that, right? They see the progress, but not the process. Ooh, I need to put... Linda! <laughs> oh, let me write this one down. The pro see the, they see the progress, but not the process. Okay. Hold on, y'all. This Yes, I am this person, so if y'all knew over here, this happens a lot. I literally, if I think of something, I have to write it down, because I, uh, I, I will forget, okay? I don't have the best memory out there in the world. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they see the progress. Not the process. That's all right, y'all. We'll get through the reading, I promise. I do get through the reading, I promise. I'm a little crazy, but I get through the reading. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse here. That's also Jupiter. If you guys don't know, everything is, well not everything, 
but just by everything that's in Aquarius. Okay, the sun, the moon, the stars. <laughs> the sun, the moon, Mercury, in retrograde in Aquarius, I might add. So it's really making it hard for anybody to say anything, apparently. Um, Mars is still in Taurus. Venus was Venus is in Aquarius. Saturn, Jupiter, of course. Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are other places. Pluto's going to get to... Um, Aquarius in the next couple years, but it's just like, uh, everything is so, like, uh, we're all kind of, like, bop, bop, bopping around over here. Like, everything is an Aquarius. Everything. Almost. Oh, we got the Emperor in reverse. Well, there you go. <laughs> and we got the Hanged Man. Wow, there we go. And stuck there. Yikes. Okay. So not only do you desire recognition and you desire people to really see you and all the things that you've had to uh, 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 give up, all the things you had to give up, all the things you've been through, all the stuff that you put up with with this Emperor card. I'm really getting this, like, you put up with a lot of, like, mistreatment. In a lot of different ways, and people don't really see that. Or you you put up with a lot of disrespect that people don't see. Or you put up with a lot of things where people were like um, commanding and demanding of you that a lot, a lot of people see. Like um, people see you is because I wanna I wanna be real blunt. Okay. Real blunt. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that all you show them with this hangman? Is that is that why you're stuck? Because this is all you show them. This is also with, um, like an ego side. Lilith is. It's the id. So a lot of people think of it. it's like this is like the dark place, right? I want people to see me. This 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 way. But. Um, it's one of those things where I'm, it, uh, you could be trying so hard, because the hangman is also the martyr, right? Like, the, in tradition, was this, I mean, it's the same feeling, same card, whatever, it's just different artwork. But, um, the other artwork, I think, shows it better than this one does. Because the hangman traditionally is someone who can bring themselves down. Um, from something, if they're they're putting themselves like they're putting themselves off to dry, basically, like they they they're sacrificing themselves for something. But you usually don't have to sacrifice yourself. It's like you know, like I chose to do this, right? But this card can sometimes be I chose to do this, not feel bad for me. So. I'm not saying, you know, but I'm, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is that when you try so hard to show somebody or make somebody or make people see you from a certain way, it backfires because you're trying so, like, they probably would see you the way that you want them to if you didn't try so hard to make them. Like, the, the try to make them is what actually makes them not because they see you trying to make them so they feel that you're trying to hide something. If that, I hope that makes sense. Like, you know, like, it's like the, if you go to the store, I can't believe it's not butter. Well, like the first automatic response for maybe just me because I'm a sarcastic asshole sometimes but it's like well I can believe it's not but you know just because you say I can't now I do now I can believe it's not but you know what I'm saying like that type of thing and so it's like just because you may say something that you may uh, like be attracting this type of attention to you to a pinnacles in reverse yeah you may have been trying to juggle something Okay, so what is going on here? Oh, three of ones in reverse. Yeah, you may have been trying to juggle something. Let's 
fear moving forward. For why, I don't know. Is it a fear of change? Oh, maybe with this devil card. <laughs> Yikes. Jinkies. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Crazy. We got the moon, the sun in reverse, three of swords, the hierophant in reverse, seven of swords in reverse, ten of swords, and six of pentacles, both in reverse. Good lord. I'm going to take them because they went down like that, but good lord. You been blinded, bamboozled, hoodwinched, little adrift, and everything else. What in the hell? Sniddle adrift. Yes, I said sniddle adrift. You'd have been sniddle adrift too. That's a whole new word. You, you, we'd have made a whole new word for you. You'd have been sniddle adrift. Okay, what the hell? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. But it didn't happen, apparently. All these things on cars and flew out. Um. You've just been deceived by the like the utmost of deception. You, it seems like you went to a point where you didn't know up was down, left was right. Crocodile was was uh, crocodile was a shoe, you know, like <laughs> so, like something crazy, crazy <laughs> over here. Not to laugh at you, um, but in just it's like you done been through a lot, and then. It's like you always feel like life is unfair, in a sense. This person I'm getting here, please do not internalize this, but this person I'm feeling here feels like they only ever attract pain. And they don't know how to not do it with this um, moon and the devil here. They don't know how to not do it. They don't even know how to find the sun, right? So they're sitting up there in that Queen of Pentacles energy. Like, they got where they got to, not because they wanted to get there, but because they were felt like they were pushed uh, to get there by their life. And you don't feel like people see what you actually do or who you actually are as a person. And the things you actually have to go through and the things you actually have been cut off from. Okay. Let's see here. So what, um, Gemini Lua. Oh, okay. So what are we, what are we going to do about this? Yeah, Ace of Wands and Four of Pentacles. Yeah. So it's like... I'm not gonna say you're ace of ones in reverse. It's it's not like you're holding on necessarily, but more like you're sort of waiting for a chance to let your guard down. To feel safe. And you feel like that's not coming. It's like a Oh, I don't feel like it's safe for me to be myself. Mm -hmm. Page of Wands. Yeah. So this is one of those things where I think you may be waiting for like a strong sense of self to come to you or for the trauma to like fall off. You know, people say time heals all wounds, but... Um, time only heals them if you dedicate time to healing them. Just because just because time has passed does not mean it's healed. If you dedicate time to healing them, then yes, with with time it can be healed if you dedicate that time. But if you just sit around and wait for it to just magically fall off, it's not going to happen. And so I think that's really what they're asking of you here is that you need to work on letting your guard down and opening up and being more um, free-spirited. More free-spirited, a little bit more passionate, a little bit more open, 
open hearted, a little bit more confident in, in your abilities because of all the shit that you've been through, you can be confident in these abilities, right? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Okay. We got the star in reverse, the queen of wands, the tower in reverse. The High Priestess in Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Overall, I'm really getting, because the Queen of Wands here is um, traditionally known as the Lilith card. I'm getting you ultimately want to not necessarily find your purpose, but find what makes you happy. But you're afraid because every time you've done it before, something terrible has happened and you feel like you don't, I'm not going to say you don't listen to your intuition, but you feel like your intuition may lie to you. But that's not necessarily the case. You may not um, be able to discern your intuition from anxiety. Sometimes it really is hard to do that. Um, but... Something that may take you a long time, or you may think may take you a long time, really won't. So it may not take you a long time to let your guard down here. If you put in the action of trying, right? Because this Queen of Pentacles to me is very earthy, but very like stubborn. This, I, the one I'm feeling right now is very stubborn. I know this is a Gemini um, little reading, but it's like a very stubborn, um, maybe a very stubborn person. You may have Taurus somewhere in your chart. You're an Earth sign somewhere in your chart besides this. Um, but it's like you don't want to be open about something. I don't know what it is, um, but you gotta at least try. Because, um, that's what you desire, I'm telling you. Desire to be free. Tell your story. Tell your story. Even if you gotta, I don't know, write it in the sky or something. Tell your story. <laughs> I don't know. You know, Gemini's are extra anyway, so you might as well <laughs> just go for it. <laughs> Why the hell not? <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe for more. I do these little uh, readings every month, along with other readings. Um, I also sell candles. Um, they're linked in the description below for the shadow site down there. Um, there's also another YouTube page called Shadow Subliminals, um, which you might benefit from Let the Fear Wash Away on that one. So, um... It's a subliminal to basically reprogram your mind to release fear. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.